This week's video, as you'll see what's coming up, is Zizzy. As always, we've got advertised versus reality, so you can see exactly what you're getting. And if you stick around to the end, you'll see exactly how I rated this place. So this week, if I can ask, and I, I don't want to ask again, but all you've got to do is literally press subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. It's just really going to help this channel because we're miles and miles off a of thousand subscribers. I know the thousand subscriber mark isn't the be all and end all, but it would really help. So if you like the video, give it a like. If you liked it a little bit more than just giving it a like, please, please subscribe. Um, and I promise no, no more um, requests, etc. at least for a few weeks. Um, and the content and obviously the reviews will keep coming. So that aside, this week, as I say, Zizi, um, we got there the pizza, which is authentic Italian, mozzarella bomb, which I'll talk about in a second, and the chili wings. You can't get much more authentic than what you're looking at there, which is as thin and as crispy, more towards the crust than the base, um, than you can get in a pizza. So I guess authentic Italian, yes. Um, some people might not like that, uh, you know, and they even do a, a sort of a rustic range, which might be slightly more. Um, well, you can't really get much thinner, I was going to say, but either way, um, a nice pizza in terms of the actual base. If you like kind of the authentic Italian, then it, it, it's, it's a really good pizza. It was classed as the Meat Lovers um, Pizza dis uh, Delivery, sorry, exclusive. Um, and it was a tempting trio of a harissa, chicken breast, torn meatballs, and pepperoni topped with mozzarella, finished off with rosemary. The base was just a, an original tomato base. Um, I would say it's not much of a pizza. So, you know, being as thin as it is, and Domino's is quite close, um, it's, it's, it's about the actual authenticity, you know, whatever, whatever you want to say in that sort of sense. It's, um, not a lot of topping, a bit like pasta, not a massive amount of topping, but the topping that was on it was good. I mean, it could have done with, as you see there, a little drizzle of olive oil probably wouldn't have gone amiss. Um, but all in all, it was a nice taste. Um, each bit of the topping was good, but could have just done with a few more pieces, I would say. It just, they don't have to go over the top, but just a few more pieces. Um, as you can see there, obviously, what I ordered. And... Uh, as far as authentic goes, I guess, you know, they nail that side of it. The box as well, absolutely brilliant. You, I can't knock the box at all, but the pizza, yeah, it was it was okay, but it was nice, but could have done with just being a little, tiny little bit thicker, maybe. However, on to, and I'm going to say now, the most average and almost possibly, I don't want to say worst wings, but they were close to the worst wings I've had. Um, the sauce, just, just before we go any further, the sauce was amazing. I mean, the amount that you got in the kind of bowl as well, the, the box sort of thing was, was excellent. Um, the actual sauce is a Calabrese, I think you, you say, and I'm not sure whether I'm saying that right. Um, topped with Rakito hot honey, red chili flakes and parsley, I think to finish, which you can see there. But that wing there was just overdone, no real meat. And before we go any further, Advertised versus reality, which is a little bit difficult this week because obviously each piece um, I should really show more than just a single like a burger or so. So I'll try to get them all in. And as I've already asked, all you've got to do is literally click subscribe. I know I'm asking it, but this is probably the first video out of 50 odd that I've really asked. If, if people please just just click subscribe. If you're watching this video and thousands of the people are watching these videos, but just not subscribing, it doesn't cost you anything. And it's, all right, it's not Mr. Beast video, but it's a reasonable, I would say, review from what I've seen on other reviews. So anyway, that aside, the wings weren't good. There wasn't a lot of meat. These chickens have not been to the gym ever. They don't know what the gym is. And um, yeah, you can see there, there's, there's more bone than there is meat, which was a first, I think, for me. I mean, all right, there's a couple of videos where the wings aren't particularly brilliant. And one of them was last week, which was Popeye's, as it happens, hot honey. Not cheap. Obviously, the original pizza price sixteen odd pounds plus the other two seven pound ninety odd something seven pound seventy five each. I can't see how prices are going to go down. Um, they're only going to go up. I, I would imagine. And if this is the level that we're already at, where you're paying 
eight pound for, I believe it was like five wings, might have been six wings. <clears throat> One of the wings you can't really call a wing, um, but either way, then it's just not on. It's just, it's not fair. You, you, you're paying a lot of money for stuff that you could, yes, you could make yourself, but these are long-standing, authentic restaurants. Um, they probably need to step up the game a little bit, I would say, you know, or charge less, charge £4.50. Right, that's the equivalent, but that's probably not going to happen. Anyway, little glitch there. No, I had to wash my hands. Um, so you're not seeing things. My fingers didn't just miraculously become perfectly clean. Um, they were just covered in sauce. So onto this uh, bomb, which is a, a dome shaped object like you know a big dough ball mozzarella and garlic dough ball and it was it was really good like they could have done with and i'm not being negative but they could have done with a little bit more mozzarella kind of overflowing let's say um but the dough was was so nice i mean it's almost kind of a complete transition to uh, or opposite more to the point of the pizza the the dough was really fluffy you can see their mozzarella bomb um, the dough is really fluffy. As I say, it's like a big dough ball. Um, but that's basically got Rikito hot honey on the bottom um, with the mozzarella with uh, garlic, I think, to finish it or, or topped with. And I would say the garlic side and the Rikito, Rikito or the honey, um, kind of complemented each other pretty well. Uh, mozzarella was really nice. It could have just done with, as I say, a little bit more. Um, but there was a lot of dough. So, you know, to split it with a couple of people, that probably would have been a lot better. Um, as you can see there, if the mozzarella was straight out of the oven, I think it would have been a lot nicer. Uh, but, you know, mozzarella and any cheese obviously tends to, um, what's the word, solidify kind of pretty quick. But overall, it was nice, you know, kind of like ripping a, you know, um, tear and shed kind of thing, like a, a pizza hut. So it was really good. I mean, I, I can't really knock um, Zizi. It's, it's, it's authentic, I'll give them that. And the food was nice um, in terms of flavours, but just a bit disappointed with the pizza. And I'd say that the, the wings were, yeah, they, they need to, they, maybe it's just one off again. We'll, we'll have something else from them in a few weeks or so, maybe pasta, but overall a reasonable meal. But the ratings, they're, they're not gonna be very high, which you'll see in a second. 7.5 for the pizza, 5.5 for the wings, and 8 for the mozzarella bomb. I appreciate everybody subscribed. If you haven't, please consider subscribing. If you haven't, have a look at these videos.